These kids are some of the richest teenagers in the world. So I flew them out to Miami to spend a day together and learn exactly how they made their millions. And this first kid became a millionaire at just 16. Here's how. My boy, good to see you. What's up, man? Nice to meet you. Hey, so first off, how old are you and how do you make your money? All right, so I just turned 16 and I make my money with Snapchat, YouTube, TikTok, and all these platforms. So break that down a little bit. You make money on all those platforms, yeah. but how do you actually do it? I create content on celebrities, on news. I make satisfying videos as well. And I just create engaging videos on unique stories every day using a team. And we just pump like 10 videos out a day on multiple accounts. And what's the most you made in a month from doing this? Uh, in a month, the most you've generated on even one account is roughly $600,000. Six hundred thousand yeah. dollars at fifteen years old. Yeah, I did that when I was fifteen. What was your parents' reaction to you making six hundred thousand at fifteen? Yeah, so I showed them the dashboard the first second I actually saw the revenue, and they didn't believe it was real. They thought I faked the numbers on my screen, so they made me refresh it a bunch of times. But they think it's really insane. Is it possible to show us some of the numbers on your phone? Because you know people are gonna be watching this like, ain't no way this kid is making this money. So in eight days on one of my shows, I've made 40 grand so far in September, um, which is pretty cool. So break that down a little bit. You're talking about Snapchat shows. Yeah. A lot of people don't even know what that is. So what is a Snapchat show and how do you make money off of that? So a Snapchat show is basically something that pops up on the discovery page when you go on the platform. The way you can make money is strictly through ad revenue. So when you post your video, the advertisers from Snapchat will pay you a CPM just like YouTube does. And how many videos are you guys putting out every day? So we have roughly nine to 10 shows and we put out a video a day on each show. And at this point, you're not doing any of the editing. You just come up with the ideas or you don't even do that anymore. So at the beginning, I was doing all the work, editing my partner with script right and all that stuff. But eventually we started hiring out people as we started to build more capital. But we basically have a team running everything for us now. You're still in high school? I dropped out of high school. <laughs> I just dropped out like three weeks ago. Is there any last thing you would say to a young kid that is inspired by your story but feels like you have something that they don't have? Eight months ago, I was making less than a thousand dollars a month. And in my first month of doing a business model that worked, I made over $600,000. So you're right around the corner from making it. You just need to keep throwing things at the wall and seeing what sticks. Let's go see who we talk to next. I'm the biggest sneaker supplier in all of Miami. Hey, so how'd you actually get started in the sneaker game? So I started off buying shoes off regular kids. Back then I used to camp outside stores and I would have to pay off managers and stuff. But I worked my way up to the point where now I have over 20 stores across the US that when they get inventory, they give it to me instead. What was the first like big flip you made with sneakers? I mean, I made like $50 flips and I was like 14 at the time. So 50 bucks lasted me a while. I would say the first big flip was the off-white UNCs. I got like five, six pairs. I made. I think $1,200 on each, and at the time, that was insane. Nowadays, you the plug for all the biggest guys out there. Sure. Can you break down some of the people that you've actually sold shoes to? Yeah, I've sold shoes to Kai, Jamie Foxx, DJ Khaled, Kabi, you know, the guy that goes like yeah. this, Jorge Masvidal, I've linked up with Alvin. Everyone that comes into Miami and has a performance, let's say I live or something, the club owner will connect me to these artists and that's kind of my way into getting with them, you know? How are you able to connect with these celebrity people? I sit home and I research and I see who are their friends, who is their manager, what label are they with? And I slowly kind of creep my way into the circle. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's work because like with Kai, I knew Kai's friend's friend, became homies with his friend and then worked my way up until eventually I sold kicks to Kai. So it's hard work, but if you really dedicate yourself to it, you can do it. I see you got some shoes here on the table. Maybe you could break those down real quick. These are the Off-White Chicago's. I think the valuation for each is about six or seven grand, which is insane for yeah. a pair of sneakers. Dior Jordan 1's, extremely, extremely limited. They go for about, 10 grand a pair. From making that first $50 flip to today, like how much do you bring in per month now selling shoes? Uh, I would say about 100 to 150,000 in revenue. Wow. How much money in your lifetime do you think you've spent on shoes? I can't even put a number on that, at least six, seven million. Were you good at school? Bro, I was awful in school. I had a 1.4 GPA, I failed math, I failed French, I failed Spanish. I feel majority of the classes that I took, although I'm not against school, I believe that if you're good in school and you want to focus on it, I think you should absolutely uh, go for it. I want to show kids out there that even though if you're failing school and even though if you don't have the best grades and whatever the case may be, you have potential. Everybody has a deep potential that you just have to reach. And if you work every single day to reach your full potential, you can do it with or without school. Maybe I'm gonna have to buy some shoes off you, man. Let's get it. <laughs> I definitely didn't get rich as fast as the kids in this video, but I did make my first million online at just 19 years old. And since then, I've sold millions of dollars worth of products online and even sold my brand last year for a life-changing amount. So if you wanna learn exactly how I did that, see the products I sold, the store I built, the ads that I ran, I created a full case study that breaks down everything 
for just one dollar. And the reason I did this is because I wanted to create something that was better than all the other courses out there, but accessible to literally everyone. So if you're a teenager or an adult watching this video and you wanna start your own business, this is a full blueprint that will walk you through everything you need to know. So if you want access to that, it's only gonna cost you a dollar, literally less than a cup of coffee. You can get access to this at the link down below in the description. But for now, we're gonna go meet up with this kid who I think has the coolest job in the world. Let's go talk to him. So how old are you and how do you make your money? Uh, I'm 19 and I make my money from software. Okay, so tell them about this software that you built. So if you've seen any of the AI Drake or AI Kanye stuff on the internet, uh, you may be wondering how that's done. Well, we build a software for it. It's called Musicfy. You go to the site, upload the song, vocals, whatever it is, and you can switch it to any voice you want. How long ago did you launch this, and now how many users do you guys have using this every month? Yeah, so we launched it five months ago, and it now has over 1.3 million users, and we're growing pretty quickly, like great, gaining two to 300,000 new users every month. What type of money does something like that make? Yeah, we, we make like four to five K most days. That's crazy, just for starting five months ago. So did you build this with your own money, or are you raising money from investors? So originally when we started out five months ago, it was just me on my computer in my basement, just working on it, and then we started making lots of money, and now it's at a point where we can raise like two to three million dollars to scale it quicker. And you already got investors ready to put money in on this. Exactly, we're talking to a bunch of really big people in the music space, so if you're big in music and you wanna invest in some cool tech, hit us up. Maybe you could give us a little demo of the app and show us how it works. So right now we're basically going on YouTube. So we're taking this song, Hey Dear Delilah, and we're gonna go to our site, upload it, and we're gonna select SpongeBob as our artist and we're gonna convert it and so take a second. So you're telling me that it's gonna change the vocals of the song from these guys to Spongebob. Don't you worry about the distance, I'm right there. If you get lonely, it's give like this song it. another listen, close your eyes. Bro, this is funny as hell. Yeah. What would somebody actually use this for? Like, are people using this just to make funny videos or is there an actual use for this tool? Let's say I'm a male singer and now I want female vocals in my song. Normally, I'll have to hire a vocalist, pay for studio time, then pay them royalties for every single stream. But now imagine, as a male singer, singer I can just convert my voice into a female singer. Uh, lately, we just launched a voice to instrument tool so if you want to like make the sound of an instrument you can just hum anything and convert it into an instrument as well. Gotcha so it's really a tool for artists to make music better. Um, by the way I have a friend that I brought from London, the youngest millionaire that I know, crazy kid flying in private jets like 15 so if you want to meet him you can go chat with him right now. He's upstairs? He's upstairs. Let's okay do it. let's go come on. So how old are you bro and how do you make your money? I'm currently 18 and uh, I made the, the vast majority of my money I think from dropshipping and just reinvesting their own to crypto. So I'm known as like the crypto kid. I think uh, crypto is probably the main thing I'm known for. When did you actually become a millionaire from crypto? So I think I passed that uh, benchmark at around like 16 years old. I think I can safe to say at 16 years old, uh, it was like the first time I saw like a million in like profits from everything I've done. So it was like, it's quite a momentous occasion, but I feel like 100K for me was a grander benchmark. You know, when I hit 100K, it was like, like oh, I'm actually onto something compared to 1 million. What age did you make 100K at? 12. No way, bro, you're lying. 12, 13, I don't know exactly the age, but I did it through dropshipping. Do you remember what you sold back in the day to make your first 100K? Like, I did the mistake all the, like, beginner dropshippers do. They're like, oh, I'm gonna start a clothing store, I'm gonna start selling watches. But, uh, I think my successful hit was when I did, a uh, collapsible flask. So I did, like, those bottles with, like, collapse down, and that was quite a big hit. Bro, but at 12 years old, most people is just playing Fortnite or just getting really heavy into, like, watching YouTube, TikTok. Like, nobody's really starting businesses. What made you want to start a business at 12 years old? How did you even have that foresight? Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I was the same. Like, I can't slander everyone who plays Fortnite. Like, I was playing Fortnite at that age, too. It was just in my other extra times, like, I, st I, I like discovering new things, right? So then uh, I, at the age of, like, seven and eight, I was, like, 3D printing phone cases and, like, selling them to my friends. And even though that was, like, a, a business, I would say, it was, like, the first time I tried something, I was, like, I like getting into, like, that creative sense where, like, the sense of you create a whole company and you actually provide utility and create something. Even though dropshipping is like providing utility per se, I like the sense that I accomplished something, you know? How do you turn 100,000 from dropshipping to over a million dollars in crypto while still in middle school? Like, how do you do that, bro? Like early 2018, I think I got Bitcoin around like the 2,000 to price level and I got Ethereum maybe like 200, $300. I do believe the most successful entrepreneurs are the ones that funnel their funds from previous business into new business. Like, so for me, I like that mindset. Like, you know, every time I enter a new business venture, I funnel in my existing funds to the next thing and I just, you know, leverage it. 
So while I do, I maybe I spend on watches and stuff. And How much you got in watches? I don't know. I got I got a decent collection. That's all I'll say. I got I got a couple Rolexes and a, one AP and stuff. But uh, yeah, I, I like my watches. I like timepieces. I can drive. I mean, I would get cars, but I need to get my license first. So we'll see what my car collection in the future. But uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much the vast majority of my luxury spending. And maybe traveling too, because I have to go to different destinations and need meet different people. You be flying private. Occasionally, like like the close destinations. Did you go to high school? Did you finish school? Yes, I finished high school. Uh, I'm in the UK with like a different system, but I finished my A levels, and uh, now I'm uh, applying to colleges. So yeah. Why are you gonna go to college if you've already made millions of dollars? For me, I know from the statistics I've seen and from the people I've asked, there is no better network in the world than the college network. So what are you building now? For me now, I'm working in the game development space. This is just uh, it's just like a circular arena PP game. These are two pop very popular memes. So the way you make money with a game like this is because people want to get the new characters. So they're gonna spend money and spend time trying to get those characters. Exactly. For a broke teenager watching this video right now, what is the best way for them to go out and make money? I genuinely believe it. if you have internet access, you can become successful. I feel like my biggest piece of advice is of course perseverance, but that's more generic. The learning stage is, you know, key. A lot of people think they can learn, you know, uh, in depth on the top from TikTok or like YouTube Shorts, but no, I feel like you need long form content and articles that really research a topic. And those, that's like the knowledge stage. And then there's the experience stage where you try starting your business. But that's the one thing. A lot of people are so close to success, but they stop because on their first business, they give up. I feel like it depends on how broke you are. If you generally don't have any cash, then still honestly, like freelancing jobs are the best. Like you can, if you're good at like digital uh, graphic design, you can freelance on like Fiverr or Upwork, or you just do traditional work like lawn mowing and you can probably make like a decent cash from and you can follow those into uh, dropshipping businesses. Yeah. So this has been really fun. Thank you so much, Jordan, once again. Uh, remember everyone to subscribe to Jordan. He has the most informative content on YouTube I've seen by a long shot. So if you're just trying to hustle and trying to make it in life, I think Jordan is the first stop to go. We'll see you guys next time. Sus. Peace. Look, I was 19 years old with 500,000.